Hello everyone, this is Sorry Majesty. Welcome to part two of The Last Minecrafters War Between Worlds. Apocalyptic Hades rode through the portal, wearing pieces of armor from the crafters he had killed. The souls of his victims swarmed in the hilt of his sword. He saw the apocalyptic crafters, then he saw two other crafters. Crafters who look like the apocalyptic crafters? Hades mused. Imposterous. He gazed at Sorin and EY stream more closely. Then he saw how powerful Sorin was. It can't be, Hades growled. A chosen crafter. Thunder shook the battlefield. Sorin, EY stream said. I think he recognized your aura. Chosen crafter, Hades roared. I am here for a declaration. Sorin looked at the others. Normally he would just kill, Apocalyptic Sorin told him. He knows who you are. Sorin approached Apocalyptic Hades and looked at him. Apocalyptic Hades cowered in fear of his aura. You have defeated my counterpart in another world, he said, yet you are here to defeat me. I want there to be peace in the multiverse, Sorin told him. Some worlds you mustn't change, Apocalyptic Hades said. This is one world where that world rule applies. Therefore, I am going to be more peaceful. I will bring everyone back. In this world, I am a part of the code. You would actually protect them, Sorin asked, even though you killed them. Yes, Hades told him. Yet, I uh, killed the others in order for their protection. They weren't actually harmed. Their souls are dormant in my hilt. I think bringing them back is in order. Hey, Apocalyptic Hades ra waved his sword and the Apocalyptic Crafters came out. What's going on? asked Apocalyptic Azuma. Mumbo, how did we escape? Did we escape? No, Apocalyptic Mumbo told him. I we were released. I think Hades has turned good. They turned to see Apocalyptic Hades give his sword to the Chosen Crafter. Hades, Apocalyptic Hades knelt before him. Do what you can, Sorry. Hey, Apocalyptic Hades told him. I have heard about your world. You have a long road ahead of you. Apocalyptic Hades disappeared, and the Apocalyptic Crafters approached Sorry. You actually did it, Zuma, Apocalyptic Zuma said. You gave this world peace. Sorin looked at the sword. It didn't have any power. Apocalypse Hades will do what he can to protect you guys. Sorin told them, I fear that your Minecraft gods are going to be angry. We'll do what we can. Apocalypse Zuma said, We should get back to our world, Eurostream told Sorin. I think I may have figured out how to defeat Morpheus. They opened the portal back to their world and went in. The others waited for their arrival, hoping they had answers. Do you think they know how to defeat Morpheus? Exuma asked Irene. Irene nodded. I have full confidence that the world they went to had answers, she told him. The creators and the crafters saw the portal open and saw Soaring and EY Stream walk out. Sorin was holding Apocalyptic Hades' Sword of Souls. Sorin, Kazuma told him, you have the Sword of Souls. How did you get that? It was given to me by Apocalyptic Hades, he said. Sorin turned to Irene. It may be a long shot, he told her, but this blade could seal Morpheus. I agree, she said, but we need to hurry. I fear that Morpheus had already suspected the change in the code. The creators yelled in pain and fell to the ground. He found out, Jeb told them. I have never seen so much power from an entity we created. Not even Herobrine had that much power. <clears throat> Eve took out some potions and revived the creator's powers. Thank you, Eve, Jeb told her. We are very glad we created you, even though we kept you a secret from the world. Sorin gazed at where Morpheus' temple was. He used his powers to zoom in. He saw he was coming for them. He raised his sword 
ready to attack. He's coming, he told everyone. Get ready, protect the creators. They circled the creators and armed themselves. They saw Morpheus land in front of Soaring. He saw the Sword of Souls and stopped several feet. So, you have the Sword of Souls, he said. Curse that apocalyptic Hades. He's always trying to help others. We're putting an end to you, Soaring yelled. We're bringing peace to Minecraft again. Oh yeah? Morpheus sneered. I have bested you. You are no match for me. Soren closed his eyes and summoned his armor. He had gained enough power to take on Morpheus. Morpheus chuckled. Looks like I'm going to have to go all out. He said. Morpheus changed, charged with blinding speed, but Soren saw it in normal time. He deflected every move that Morpheus made. He then slashed Morpheus with the Sword of Souls. Morpheus yelled in pain as part of his soul was transferred into the blade. How can you see me? He asked. No human should ever do that. I have trained myself for years, Soren told him. Every wind gust, every twig snap. I have moved faster each time. Now I can move faster than you Minecraft gods. But why did you deceive us? He asked. I only deceived you, Soren told him. Irene knows everything. Morpheus charged for the final kill, but Soren stabbed him in the heart. His soul was finally extracted into the blade. Soren looked at the sword and sheathed it. He gave it to Irene, who disposed of it. He won't be bothering us anymore, she told him. We can go back to peace. Everyone looked at Soren in amazement. You never told us you were that powerful, Exuma told him. So the prophecy was true. You were the one to defeat him. Yeah, Soren said. I knew it for years. So this is it? Eurostream asked. This is where we part ways? Everyone looked at each other. They've been through so much in the past 16 years. Portals began to open up and they looked at them. Time to go to our homes. Soren told them. Xuma went into his portal. Iwasun went with te Eve and Testy. Rach went off into his own portal. Soren stood next to his own portal with Harry O'Brien and Irene. You've done well, my hero, Irene told him. Now it's time for you to rest. I don't know what I'm going to do, Soren told her. I cannot foresee any dangers coming in your timeline, she said. Soren went in and arrived in his starter area. Soren, you're back, Bob said. You've been gone for a long time, Gerald told him. You look different. Soren looked at himself in the mirror. He looked older, wiser than he ever been. He gazed at the new mansion that stood before him that replaced Goat Castle. Let's head inside, he told them. Have I got a story to tell you guys? <clears throat> And that is the end of the last Minecrafter series. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. This is Sorry Majesty, signing off.